And welcome back. Here is number five in the Series 1 line of Necromolds Monsters for the Necromolds Wargaming uh, Miniatures Battling Game. And Veggie Toad is uh, a Ravager, it, it, which means his nature highlights melee and ranged attacks, so he's powerful. Uh, Veggie Toad, a, you can see kind of there's his eyeballs and his mouth and his veg, vegetable ears and uh, his little smaller uh, companion here. Uh, Veggie Toad is, uh, like I said, he's a cool little Veggie Toad. Here is the mold. There are two different versions. There's a larger version of the Veggie Toad and a smaller, you can kind of see, I guess it's supposed to be like a sunflowery face, but it kind of looks demogorgon demo when you uh, mold them all up. It's really cool. But you got a larger Veggie Toad and a smaller Veggie Toad in the mold, uh, similar to the Mud Mumps. They are the larger one, unlike the Mud Mumps, they are not the same size. The larger Toad's a little bit more of a, a clay volume with a volume rating of 11. The smaller one has a volume rating of 8. You can see the melee and ranged attacks have a synergy uh, with their nature. So if you're in a close distance with another uh, uh, different creature that has one of these highlighted, you get to roll an extra dice for both melee and ranged attack, depending on what uh, matches up on those symbols. Uh, this is a special ability. This is not activated by a spell cost. This is just in the nature of the, of the, of the creatures. The larger form does get to roll automatically roll two melee dice. The larger form gets plus one melee dice. The smaller version, the eight version, rolls rolls the stats here. The larger version gets an extra dice. The commands you can give it are a close move command and a close wild command, which means that can be another move. That can be uh, a close ranged attack, uh, depending on how you assign your dice. There he is, there's a side. I'm showing off the spines, but there's number five. So let's throw some clay in the spell book here and see what uh, the veggie toads turn out. So we'll smoosh them up. Open it up. Seriously, part of the reason I, I, I was, I'm like, should I shoot all these videos tonight? And I am because it's so much fun to make these dudes and smoosh them. Uh, so yeah, here we'll go ahead. We'll pop out the small veggie toad. And like I said, he's got a kind of a sunflowery face which also looks very demogorgony, with, especially with that little tongue or vine coming off of it. But there's the small veggie toad. And here's the large veggie toad that gets the plus one melee attack. He's got a cool mouth and like some broccoli ears. I mean, it's not really broccoli, but vegetation ears. They are veggie toads. He's got a cool little knobbly back there. And, uh, and there's the larger. There they are side by side. So you can see how this one is slightly larger than the smaller version. They can be a formidable force on the field, especially with that extra melee attack that the larger toad gets. But they also can be uh, tragically smooshed at the end of a combat. So we're going to use both of our the, the, the caster rings that I have here. So here we'll smoosh the smaller veggie toad into what we've seen in previous videos as a beetle. And the larger veggie toad with this caster ring becomes a skeleton demon. You can see it's like a little skull with a spine tail. So those are the two caster rings that I have available to me. I think there's uh, uh, seven different designs on the caster ring. I know that like a lobster and something else are on the, uh, if you go to the necromolds.com website, you can see some of them. You may see all of them on the, uh, on the Kickstarter, and I'm not 100% sure what all of them are, honestly. So, so check those out over on the Kickstarter page which again, you can follow the link in the description. And uh, there is uh, the Veggie Toads, uh, book five in series one of Necromolds.